Much like Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park when he says, are there going to be any dinosaurs on this dinosaur tour? You may be wondering, are there going to be any muskies on this musky channel? What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. The answer to that is yes. Will it be today? Unfortunately, no. Because, as I like to say, muskies are jerks. I spent two and a half days out in Indiana recently fishing with my buddy Rusty Robbins. Rusty's Custom Lures is his little lure making business and you should check that out because he makes some really cool stuff that we're going to go over. But we fished really hard for a couple days out there. Saw 22 fish, 5 one day, 17 the other, and could not get lucky enough to get one to stick. Uh, yeah, it was, it was rough. I had a couple hits on top water, so that was cool. We were seeing all sorts of fish and just could not get them to go. I think they were right in the middle of spawn, so I don't know if they were just chasing baits and not intending to eat them, because they certainly didn't for us. <laughs> but what I do have for you is a couple of those... Uh, interactions that we had with fish. So we've got a couple follows, topwater blowups, that sort of thing that we're going to look at. And at the end of this, the thumbnail for this video is a couple of spy baits, which I'm not really familiar with, but Rusty makes a couple of these things, these guys, and they don't look like much. And he was up at the Wisconsin Muskie Expo up in Wausau and had a lot of questions about are they topwaters? How do you fish them? So I think there are a lot of misconceptions about this bait, which is why I kind of wanted to talk about them this week in this video. Uh, and I got to see them in action while I was fishing with them. Really cool baits. Um, super easy to fish. Cast them out, reel them in like a bucktail, uh, drop them, pump them, do whatever you want to with them. Um, they've got these props on the front and the back. Um, he actually puts, I don't know if you can hear it, there's rattles in it. All sorts of stuff going on uh, with these guys so really cool baits I'm gonna give them a shot this year but as I said we're gonna look at a little bit of musky fishing not catching unfortunately and then uh, we spent a little time down in Rusty's shop talking about the baits so look forward to watching that at the end of this video oh yeah yep yep how big was she? Uh, I couldn't tell. I just saw a big old stone. I saw it flash off when you you said something. It looked like it was moving pretty good. Yeah, it was moving pretty good. Okay. It's your shot at a big one though. But that big one will show its face. Yep. And I've learned that. It's like I really try to keep my composure all day long. And oh, fish! Oh, I just lost one. Oh. oh. Right there, right there, right there. Yep. There's a fish. That was a nice one there. Yeah. He just took off. Oh, he... <laughs> No, he took off pretty hard. I just, I figured I'd keep it in there just to see if anything happens. Oh, dude, he was like, he was right there. All right, guys, so I drove all the way from Southern Wisconsin 
to Indiana to catch muskies. And as we all know, muskies are jerks. So we spent two days of really hard fishing. And we saw, what, 22 fish between the two days? Yeah, it was a lot. It was, I mean, the second day was ridiculous. We saw 16, 17 fish. Got a couple to hit, just couldn't get hooks into them. So uh, it was a lot of fun. That was the first time I had come to Indiana and fished these lakes. And I want to really thank Rusty and his wife for putting up with me for a couple days. Uh, had a ton of fun doing this. But I wanted to talk about one of the baits that he makes that when you were at the Wausau show, what were people thinking they were? Top waters. Top waters. These are not top waters, everybody. They may look like it because they've got props at either end. Um, but these are really cool baits. It's called, the, the, the type of bait is a spy bait. Yes. Right? So these are a spy bait and a tail spinner mix. Okay. That's, yeah. So the, the spy baits have been really big in the bass industry, and they actually started back in like the 1920s. And um, they had a resurgence in the like mid-2000 uh, teens. And uh, then the tail spinners were a really big bass bait. And they, so I just kind of combined both of them. And... Um, just make one awesome lure. Yeah, it's it's a really it's a different bait. It, and it, when you first when I first saw it, I'm like, this, this doesn't really do much, but it does because you just cast these out and it's like a bucktail almost, right? Yeah, just reel it in. Same same retrieve as a bucktail. Yep, yep. You can give it little pops and jerks and that sort of thing to uh, you know trigger a fish to hit. But um, yeah, it's it's a really really simple bait to use. Uh, and I was gonna say, I don't know if the mic will pick it up, but. Like the props on either either end really grind, and you get this really cool noise out of it uh, with that tail spinner out there. Um, I can see why it gets fish's attention. So. Yeah. So the other good thing is too with these is you you can drop them and they'll wobble in the fall. Sure. Whereas a bucktail, you know, pretty much you drop it. Sometimes you have to work to get the blades started again. Where mm -hmm. these, the blades basically are spinning the entire time. Even on the drop, you'll watch and the blades will be spinning and and uh, making a commotion. Yeah. Um, so yeah, very easy to work. Um, no wrong way. That's what I tell people when they, when they look at them, like what's the best, um, retrieve. And it's pretty much, you just let the fish tell you and, um, you can either burn them, drop them, let them wobble down to say 15 feet or, uh, down a stair step them down a brake line. And, uh, yeah, pretty much just something like that. There's really no wrong way. That's the great thing about it. <laughs> Anybody can throw the bait. There's no special way of doing anything. But I do say to you, there are going to be guys that are way better fishermen than me. They're going to come up with different techniques of throwing this. And um, yeah, and they're, they're basically going to tweak it. The, the other good thing about the bait is uh, the modularity of the bait. You can change the blades out. I, there's, there's all sorts of hacks that are going to be done with these. And I do weird stuff to set myself apart. And that was basically how the bait got made was I fish extremely pressured waters in Indiana. So I wanted something that set me apart. And it definitely did from the first time that I started throwing the bait, I noticed it was it was a winner. So yeah, so now even with these baits, you can still change your blades and put say even a five Colorado, four Colorado, five willow, paint the blades. There's so much stuff you can do with them. Yeah, because I noticed like this one, you've got a little willow on, you've got orange blades over here. So yeah, like you said, and the back end here, this eye actually screws out so you can change the props out and that sort of thing. Yeah, too. so I have some new stuff coming out too. And um, that's the other thing is I want to be able to make it to where you can pull the props off the back and say, you know, maybe do a slightly bigger prop, smaller prop, just something to change it up, uh, change the sound and the vibration. That's awesome, man. It was it was really fun getting to fish with Rusty. I had a, I had a blast. It was fun watching these baits at work. We had a ton of fish up on these, um, and it, they just they're right in the middle. I think they're right in the middle of spawn, and I think most of the fish we were seeing were just chasing things out of their area and uh, didn't really want to eat them necessarily. Just wanted to come say hi and then swim away and make us frustrated, <laughs> as muskies do. So uh, where can people find your stuff basically right now i'm just on facebook okay. only right. so um yeah until i start getting this this really came about in a fast way i made the bait and it got pretty popular pretty quick and um so i just did the wausau show and got a lot of good feedback but like i said to um just letting people know that these are actually a, like a spy bait tail spinner mix and they sink fast and not a prop bait 
that's on top of the water. Yeah, if you if you want these to be a top water, you're gonna have to have your Tranks 400 and like <laughs> rod tip. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe that would work too. You know, the crazier things have happened, but uh, again. Just a super easy bait to fish, uh, as easy as a bucktail, if not easier sometimes, because really you don't have to worry about keeping your blades spinning or anything like that. These things just, they go to town. So I would suggest that you check these out. They're a really cool bait. I'm going to be throwing them a little bit this year, hopefully uh, up in Eagle Lake. I want to uh, try them out, see how they work on those fish up there. And yeah, all right, folks, that's what I've got for you this week. Another week of the muskies kicking my butt, but just so you know, it happens to the best of us, not that I'm the best of us, but uh, yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. I will see you on the next video.